Hey there. So today I'm building a feedback box for the yoga teacher training I'm assisting in. Um, it's basically just a space, like a place where people can put in notes um, or feedback, whether they're positive or negative, or um, and they can put it in anonymously, um, which is easier generally for more people um, than to say it face to face, which can feel confrontational. It's an important part of any training or any anything I think actually it's more that an anonymous feedback um place to vent. So First, you must see what you're working with. Well, if you made it, then you know. <laughs> Brush that has obviously seen better days. It was actually a good brush, but it was a white sable. Like it's actually a pretty good brush, but it's been on too many journeys with me. Not too many, just, just the right amount for this purpose. And make sure there's no dog hair in it, but there will be if you have a dog or a cat. So you just want to get it a nice consistency so it's not like obviously glue suspended in water. It's water soluble, which is what's nice about this like little kid's school glue. Bubbling. So I'm just gonna give it some tension as I lay it down. So I don't always have a good clear vision of like what I'm gonna do, but I'll just have a, an overall. Like, okay, in my head, I know that I want to use more or less the colors that we, we've been using to promote this yoga teacher training so people feel like it's specially made just for them. But I also want it to be neutral, so it's not like, uh, so I want it to feel like natural colors. Uh, so more subdued, more subdued than, um, than some of the online promotional things. So we're gonna wait for that to dry for me to put in the rules, like the calligraphy there. And we're gonna wait for this to dry just a little bit more before we put the words on the edges here. And during that time, I'm gonna go wash my brushes. Let's play with some stickers and just lay them out. Like I said, I write out what I'm planning on stickering or writing. So I make sure that I've spelt everything. It's super simple, but I can also count how many letters, which helps me center it. So that means we need space for four letters, four letters, and three letters. And it will make a difference if we get that right. So take our ruler, we'll center it and put two letters on this side, two letters on this side. Same for this, and then for the word box, O will go in the center. So all we need to find is the center point because these letters are blocky enough that we'll be able to kind of freehand it from there.
handing something, I find that you want to somewhat match the let So the first line that you write, the first time you write a letter, you're kind of setting the stage for how the rest of the letters are going to go. So like, you want to match somewhat your letters with the ones you've already created. So it looks like you're writing in a font. It makes it easier too, because you don't have to keep making it up. You just go with the rules you just set for yourself. So, that's basically it. And, um, yeah, I hope this was fun to watch and uh, maybe you learned something, right?